Jerry, Alexis, uh, nice to meet you guys. How are you doing today? Good. Very How good. are you, Thomas? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Uh, just want to jump right in. Alexis, uh, your character uh, in Cop Shop is pretty badass, you know, spins her gun uh, like it's a wild west. Um, for yourself, uh, how easy was it to learn those little skills? Oh, it was a lot of hard work. I got in with the stunt team as soon as I was attached and I was working with a gunslinger on the cylinder changing and the twirls. And, um, and then I worked with a lieutenant to work on the law enforcement side of it. And then we got into rehearsals and I was like, <gasps> I got to look at the script. So like figuring out that balance when you're a character from beginning to end, I, I hadn't experienced that before. So I was like, okay, I need to, I need to like actually schedule out my training time and my script analysis time and all of that. So, but it was, it was amazing to learn those new skills. That's why you never knew your lines. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The consummate right. professional. Uh, yeah. Did you, uh, you know, watch any Westerns, watch movies like Dirty Harry to kind of try and shape your character? Uh, I did, way? actually. Like Clint Eastwood was the rabbit hole I trailed down. Uh, Dirty Harry, Good, Bad and the Ugly. I was, I, I was like, Valerie has an insatiable thirst for justice. Who might I think <laughs> of that? <laughs> uh, Jerry, uh, really, you know, just to ask you, your character's got this really maniacal stare. Um, in a few scenes, uh, is that something uh, you know you had to practice, or is it just pure natural talent? I think that's I would call it talent, but it's definitely <laughs> natural. <laughs> I definitely have that. You, you, you know that 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 movie I made, the the, the banishing in Scotland, you know, a couple yeah. of years ago, and and it, it, it was interesting just delving into every part of that madness I thought shit this is all me I have all this in me you know, I have light but I have a lot of darkness and um so so with Vidic it, it was the same idea as in tapping into that crazy part of you you know and and that part that could kill somebody or could you know could right. be unleashed and um you know and then also having having fun with it you know like that yeah. that moment where I scream I think that was Joe's idea <laughs> just go just like <laughs> You know, <laughs> it, it, it was it was it, you know you, you climb into the to the mind of a of a killer or a hitman and 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 you try to take that as seriously and truthfully as possible. But then you yeah. also go, now how can I make this fun mm -hmm. and shocking and interesting and and give it color and layers and uh, <laughs> just to ask uh, on set, did you try and uh, introduce you know any Scottish culture? Did you teach Alexis any uh, your favorite words or phrases? I don't think so. I don't no, think so. No, he didn't teach me. Well, no. he doesn't know this, but I, I watched his uh, YouTube video with the, the Scottish slang. Uh -huh. I watched that. Yeah, okay. uh -huh. <laughs> and oh, a lot I of them that. I couldn't pronounce. So I was like, eh. yeah, I, I was like, I I'm going to show up with some with some words. And then I was like, you know, you're better off just leaving it alone, Alexis. Just leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. We, we were in a COVID set, right? So yeah. it's like... Yeah. You're not necessarily sitting next to each other having a lot of small talk. You know, when you yeah. when you're off, you have your face masks on. You know, what do you call that? It was the shield and the, the shield, mask. Face we shields had and double. masks and social yeah. distancing. You know, so that yeah. that was the. I mean, we were lucky to be able to make a movie in the middle of that, but it yeah. didn't yeah. lead to major socializing. Mm -mm. Uh, at one point, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Alexis, your character, uh, you know, refers to. Uh, Jerry um, as Mr. Meryl Streep. Uh, that's quite an honor. Yeah, it is an honor. And I hope he accepted that as a as a compliment. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it was supposed to be an insult, but inside I was like, <laughs> that's awesome. Right. Meryl Streep. I mean, he, he did his job. He got into the station. We believe them. <laughs> but believability uh, is key. Yeah. Yeah. Look at so I'll, be, I'll be hoping for my Oscar nomination. <laughs> yes, from this. And if you don't, you need to talk to Meryl. Uh, Meryl, yeah. I... <laughs> Looking at Meryl Streep's body of work, uh, Jerry, uh, which roles do you think uh, you could maybe try and take on? You know, you can sing, so is there maybe a reimagination of uh, Mamma Mia uh, coming up with you in it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe Mamma Mia would be a good one. I don't know if I can still sing. I, 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 I got to... Uh, I got to work on on um, my voice chords again, you know, get them back in order. But yeah, I, I, I do think I could probably do a better job than Meryl and Mamma Mia. 
<laughs> no, see, I've got to be careful what I say because that ends up in <laughs> that ends up in the daily record. Jerry Butler claims yeah. he's better than Meryl Streep, and you know, <laughs> I've been caught out in that so many times. Um, <laughs> Next you know, thing you know, you and Meryl are sitting across from each other. Like, so why did you say what you said? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was joking, Meryl. <laughs> You could even pitch like get Cop Shop Two could be a musical. That could be the the, the way to get it. Um, Ooh. I must say that I must say that Toby Huss was insanely funny. Uh, how did you guys keep it together? You know, when you were sharing scenes uh, with him. Well, I didn't. We didn't. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean, keep it together. A lot of the, oh. a lot of the time, you were just, when it's on him, and you're you're fortunate enough not to be on camera. <laughs> And I think I've said to him before, I was like, Toby, hold it together because I'm not. Like, I'm just, <laughs> just yeah, going to have he, to focus. He is truly <laughs> phenomenal. In, in, uh, in this yeah. And just to ask as well, you know, in one moment, uh, Frank Grillo's character, after much you know, bloodshed, uh, you know, randomly goes uh, and gets a snack, which is kind of surreal. So when you guys have had you know, a long day of filming, shooting uh, what's the kind of first snack that you go for what's the the go-to meal i run a crafty for the seaweed snacks anyone yeah. who's worked with me know i'm like what, what seaweed do you have and then they come in different flavors too oh my god they're so good they get all in your teeth but it's worth it i for i, I guess it depends what country i'm in you know like here yeah. i'm in puerto rico right now so it's maybe an empanada but you know and then when I was in Brazil, for some reason, I was just seemed to be sitting with beetroot on my plate, um, which led to an embarrassing situation with the nurse. But anyway, <laughs> well, I, I suddenly I thought I had cancer. Um, oh, boy. Because I had, I thought I had blood coming out my ass. And then she asked me all these questions and then said, have you been eating a lot of beetroot? I went, yeah, sure. You know what? Randomly, uh, my, my wife can actually just eat beetroot out of the jar. She, she loves it. Oh, wow. Me too. I love it. Beets it's... are so good, but that's always the last question. They ask you all these scary questions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then at the end, like, well, have you been eating beets? Oh, okay. I'm not dying. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. And just one uh, final question uh, before we go. Uh, I love the soundtrack, uh, especially uh, Freddy's Dead, you know, that, that track at the, the end. When you guys have downtime on set or you're on lunch, you know, what are you listening to as our music in the background? What songs get you in the zone? We definitely have music on set while we were filming. Um, I, I didn't know the songs. They were instrumentals. Uh, mm. I think they were a soundtrack from, uh, some, but uh, Freddie's Dead, we were listening, I was listening to it on repeat because I had to know the lyrics <laughs> for the end of the movie. <laughs> And I hadn't heard yeah. the song before. And like every time I said I that, that, Joe would look at me and be like, I can't know that song. I'm like, well, I don't know it. <laughs> you know, it, it depends because sometimes you, you listen to operatic music if you have to get emotional or, or, mm -hmm. or, or you got to get amped up. So like, for instance, I, I, I sometimes go through this morning practice where I'll go outside and I play Fat Planet from left field. Mm -hmm. And I go all caveman, I go primal, you know, like just to get the blood flowing and ah! <laughs> and and and, and, I, and I use that song as well. Sometimes mm -hmm. if I have to get amped up for a scene, Fat Planet, yeah. maybe the, one of the best songs of all time. Nice. Oh, it's just so <laughs> the drum beat, boom, 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 boom. Well, that's all the time I've got. Uh, but Jerry yeah, Alexis, uh, thank you so much and best of luck with the movie's release. Thank you. Thank you, my man. I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You